The number three Flyers are on the road tonight playing at Rhode Island, but their home court is about to get very busy. UD Arena will play host to dozens of men's, women's, even high school games over the next few weeks. Two News reporter Adam Reif shows us how they'll be handling such a busy schedule. The men's and women's teams have always been big draws here in Dayton. That's before the national ranking, the winning streaks, and the top seeds in the conference tournaments. Now you add in the mix hosting the women's tournament, welcoming college game day to campus, and keeping tens of thousands of fans safe amid a national health scare. It's a lot for staff to handle, but they say they're up for it. It's an adrenaline rush, uh, you know, leading up to every game day. March is called madness for a reason. A season that's seen the dunks, victories, and national recognition pile up will soon get even more crazy off the court and behind the scenes. We'll have uh, 21 games over the next 13 days. The madness starts Friday when the first of seven women's A-10 tournament games tips off. The men's home finale is Saturday night, then nine high school regional games will be played between the 10th and the 14th. There is a, a lot of change over there between signage, cleaning up in between games, uh, transferring out networks uh, that are broadcasting the games, uh, so a lot of coordination. Then the national spotlight shines brightly when the first four of the NCAA tournament caps off the run on March 17th and 18th. On Selection Sunday the 15th, uh, we will take out our University of Dayton floor and bring in the NCAA floor and have everything set up for when the teams arrive on Monday morning. 50 to 75 staffers help run the operation side of the arena. On a busy game day, as many as 400 people will help create the ultimate game day experience. But now the nationwide spread of the coronavirus adds another challenge to maintaining health and safety. We're just trying to uh, encourage people to follow the guidelines that have been put out there. We will be adding some additional hand sanitizers around the building uh, here in the next few days and over the next few weeks. No doubt college game day will bring a lot of excitement to campus on Saturday. It also poses its own unique logistical challenges as staff from UD Arena and the athletic department will have to split up to make sure both venues run smoothly. In Dayton, Adam Rife, 2 News, working for you.